Fish make excellent pets, for those who do not have a lot of time or room for other types of pets. Choosing and decorating aquariums for fish can also light up a room, and be fun for the entire family. Also, watching fish in an aquarium has been tied to stress relief too. Pet fish come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, so you'll need to decide what kind of fish you prefer. In this video, we'll help guide you to everything you need to know about getting a pet fish. So let's get started. Is a fish a low-maintenance pet? Freshwater fish are generally less expensive and easier to care for than other types of pets. While they may be less hassle than other types of animals, they are not exactly low-maintenance pets. Fish have the same fundamental needs as other pets. Food, water, and suitable habitat are the easy things. But because they live in different surroundings than humans and other mammals, they rely on us to provide everything they need to live happily and healthily. For example, you may not need to bathe your dog or cat often to maintain good health. With a fish, cleaning their environment can be crucial to their survival. Once you've decided on the type of fish you want, you can pick which aquarium is best for you and how much upkeep it will need. Choosing a pet fish. Do you want to get a fish but aren't sure if it's the right pet for you? There are some basic fish care facts that apply regardless of what type of fish you are considering. Once you've decided, do some research on the type of fish and its specific requirements. Let's take a look at some of the most commonly asked questions to help you decide whether a fish is a right pet for you. Is keeping a fish a good fit for your lifestyle? When choosing the type of fish you want to keep, do some research to determine which type will work best for your lifestyle. To help you, here's a list of the types of fish that's ideal based on different lifestyles. The easiest fish to take care. Pet ownership has been linked to numerous health benefits in general. The most popular fish species are better fish, an ordinary goldfish. They are also simple to maintain and do not necessitate a complex aquarium setup. Fishes that are low maintenance. Betters. Black molly. Swordtail. Blue-eyed spotted rainbow fish. Allowing your kids to choose aquarium decorations and design the bowl can be a fun family activity. Your fish's tank will need to be cleaned from time to time, and each time is an opportunity for your children to decorate their fish's tank. Fishes that are ideal for kids or families. Platy. Swordtail fish. Fancy guppy. Angelfish. Mollies. Pajama cardinal fish. Cooley loach. If you're a first-time fish owner, a goldfish might be the most ideal pet first for you. But even a goldfish requires more than just a bowl and water. You also need to provide food, a water conditioner, a water filter, and decorations. Once you've figured out the best way to take care of your pet fish, you can then upgrade your tank and start adding more fish to your collection. Fishes that are low maintenance. Goldfish. Guppies. Bushinos plecos. Neon tetras. Clownfish. Butterfly fish. How can you select a healthy fish? Aside from choosing the type of fish that fits your lifestyle, you'd also need to make sure that you're getting a healthy fish. When selecting the fish, these are the things that you need to look out for. The fish should be clear and brightly colored, with no lumps, bumps, or wounds. The fish should be alert and swim around without extra effort, rather than sulking in the tank's corner. The fins shouldn't be clamped but should be upright. The fish shouldn't leave any trail of excreta from their vent. The fish shouldn't be drowning or bobbing to the surface. If you see any of these signs, move on to the next breeder until you can find a healthy fish. Where is the best place to buy a fish? It depends on the type of fish you want to buy, but pet stores usually provide a large selection of fish. Another alternative is to look for a reliable fish breeder through online pet marketplaces such as Alpha Match. A reputable fish breeder should know how to educate owners, provide them with healthy habitat, and help in choosing the best fish for you. What do you need to do to get ready for your new fish? 
Now that you've discovered the perfect fish for you and where to get them, it's time to learn everything you need to know to make sure you keep your new fish healthy and happy. How to set up your aquarium to improve fish health. Choosing the right fish tank and aquarium equipment for your home is one of the most important aspects of fish ownership. Check that the aquarium is large enough to accommodate the fish you choose to get. Bowls and small aquariums may appear to be a nice idea at first, but they are much more difficult to maintain. If you're a first-time fish owner, you may want to choose an aquarium kit of at least 10 gallons, that includes all the equipment you'll need. Remember that the fish you'll get is unlikely to be full-size, so make sure there is enough place for the fish to grow. Get the largest aquarium you can afford or have room for. You will need an aquarium heater if you do not live in a climate that is warm all year. Most tropical fish thrive at temperatures ranging from 75 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. As for a goldfish, they prefer temperatures ranging from 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. You should buy a heater that is powerful enough to heat the volume of water in the aquarium to the desired temperature based on the room temperature. How to choose the best filter for your aquarium. Fish go to the bathroom in the same place where they live, so a good aquarium filter is important. Most filters today perform rather well in all stages of filtration and are often rated for certain tank sizes. Buying a larger model filter can be a good idea if you wish to keep fish that are a little messier, such as goldfish or cichlids, or fish that may have offspring or grow a lot larger. If your filter has a drop in cartridge, replace it once a month and rinse it weekly. Check your canister filter regularly and clean or replace it as needed. How to help reduce fish stress. Some fish can swim in open water, but most enjoy cover in the shape of plants, rocks, and other decorations to feel safe and comfortable. If there isn't enough structure in the tank, they may hide or be picked on by other fish in the tank. Stressed out fish are more prone to become ill and unhealthy. When you first start populating your tank, add one or two new decorations every time you add a new fish so that the newcomers have somewhere to go. Taking care of your new pet fish. It takes a lot of time and effort to care for a fish. You must ensure that your fish are properly fed and are living in a clean habitat. Here are some things you should do to care for your fish. How often should you clean your fish tank? Regular water changes and pH testing are required in aquariums to guarantee that fish are living in the right circumstances. Depending on the size of your aquarium and filtration system, you'll need to make weekly partial water replacements, as well as clean and change the water once a month. Goldfish, for example, are notoriously dirty and may need more frequent water changes and tank cleanings. Overfeeding will dirty the water as well and cause buildup that may be toxic for the fish. Monitoring your aquarium's pH levels and keeping an eye out for any pollutants should give you a fair sense of how often you'll need to clean your fish tank. What can you feed your fish? Fish need a well-balanced feed, clean water, adequate lighting, and the proper environment. To stay healthy and happy, some fish require frozen or live food. The secret to a pet's good health is proper care. For example, seahorses are gorgeous and fascinating fish, but their feeding requirements that is usually live food and strict water quality requirements make them unsuitable for beginners. Pet fish can grow ill as well and may require veterinary attention. How often should you feed your fish? Because fish lack stomachs, they have no way of knowing when to finish feeding. Only feed your fish once or twice a day, as much as your fish will consume in two or three minutes. Some fish, such as goldfish, should only be fed what they can consume in one minute, while others have varied needs. One of the most common mistakes made by fish owners is overfeeding. When you go away, instead of having to find someone to feed your fish, you can equip your fish with an automatic feeder or food block within its aquarium. Goldfish are particularly laid back and may go for up to two weeks without food, though this is not recommended. Choosing the tank mates. After you've mastered the art of caring for your new pet fish, you may want to think about adding tank mates to keep your fish company. Before you get another tank mate, consider the following. 
What kinds of fish is best for your aquarium? Once you've set up your aquarium, talk to your fish breeder about which type of fish will thrive in it. Some fish will get along with each other better than others. You'll need to introduce fish one at a time for a month. Do not overcrowd your aquarium and only add healthy, active fish. Adding a sick fish to your aquarium can cause the rest of your fish to become infected. How to properly acclimate your new fish for long-term health. When you bring your fish home, slowly acclimate them to your aquarium, don't just throw them in. There are various approaches, but the general idea is to gently introduce new fish to your water, to avoid stressing them out. You can turn off the aquarium light, and float the bag in the tank for half an hour, adding small amounts of tank water every few minutes, before gently netting them into their new habitat. Keep a tight eye on them for the first few days to ensure they are eating, not being harassed by other fish, and don't show any signs of sickness. Finally, make it a habit to switch out the lights at the end of the day. Because fish can't close their eyes to sleep, leaving the light on all the time stresses them out, and promotes the growth of bothersome algae. If your lamp does not have a built-in timer, purchase one at an aquarium or hardware store, and program it for 6 to 8 hours if you do not have live plants, and 10 to 12 hours if you do. Getting a fish is one of the best decisions you can make. Pets play an essential role in the lives of many people. Your fish owning experience will be the most rewarding, if you do your homework on which type of fish is most suited to your family, house, and lifestyle. Unmet expectations are a primary cause of pet abandonment, so make an informed decision. Take your time, involve your family, and think over the time and effort you need to make in keeping a pet fish.